What's going on YouTube? My name is Genius, bringing you guys more ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword. Before this video starts, if you find yourself enjoying the content at any time, make sure you show it by smashing that like button, clicking that big red subscribe button, and letting me know in the comment section down below. So guys, in today's video, we are actually rocking this Dragapult Snorlax, little Gyarados recycle team, kind of. This team is awesome, dude. I love it so much. We got this Dragapult with the Focus Sash, Rock and Reflect, and Ally Switch right here. So he is very versatile in these double battles. Then we got this Weakness Policy. Togekiss right here, who is an absolute beast. Once you set that off, it is GG, dude. It's game over. Then we got this Weaky Berry Rotom, who comes up very, very big. If you can set up that nasty plot, you will be cooking. You'll be chilling. Then we got our Assault Vest Extra Joel, who I love. I love Extra Joel all around. But this is more, mainly like an attacker. Can soak, up, can soak up some special attack hits. And then we got the Gyarados right here. Gyarados Rock and Intimidate drops the team's physical attack. Rock and Citrus Berry can take some hits, regain its health, set up a D-Dance too also. He's very good, very versatile. Then... A Pokemon I haven't actually used before in this whole game yet is this Snorlax right here. He's rocking Gluttony on him, so he gets more health from his berries. He's rocking an Ipapa Berry with Recycle, so he can recycle the berry out and then do some work with Darkest Larry and Facade. But guys, if you would like to use this team for yourself, Breath of Code is at the bottom of the screen. And let me know for question of the day, what is your favorite starter Pokemons for me? I actually love Trico, Piplup, and I fell in love with Grookey for this generation. But without further ado, let's get on with this video. Here we go, hopping into our first match. This guy's actually only rocking five Pokemon. That's five by me. He has his Dragapult, Titar, Barrascuta, Pelipper, and the Rotom Wash. I can see him leading that Pelipper. So we're definitely going to go into our Rotom. Rotom's coming out for us in the front. We're going to bring bringing our Togekiss in later because Togekiss can do some work. And our Extra Drill. Do we bring in our Extra Drill? Yeah, we're going to bring in our Snorlax actually too because I can do some work against that Dragapult. So we're going, we're going to lead with the Rotom. Rotom's definitely coming out in the front spot. I see that Pelipper coming out here too. And we need something to soak up some water heads to do some work. Yeah, let's go. Gyarados? Hmm. This is tough. I want my Gyarados in here, though. Let's go. Rotom Gyarados. Rotom Gyarados Snorlax is coming in. Them three. But Gyarados, those two are leading the front spots. Because they can do work against most of this team right here. I just gotta watch out for that Rotom. Hmm. What's the play? What is the play? I say we actually got Rotom Excadrill. Because I can see him leading that Rotom. I can see him leading that Rotom. So Rotom Excadrill is going to come out here. And then, or Rotom Dragon, no. Rotom Extra Drill is going to start off, and then we're going to have Snorlax in the back and Togekiss. How about that? That seems like a plan. That seems like a plan. We are Assault Vested, so we can eat up some shots and all that good stuff. Well, let's roll out. Let's roll out here. Let's get going. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, make sure you go in the link in the description below. Genes25 on Twitch. Hit that follow button. If I'm not live, you can swing by later and hang out. It's tons of fun there. It's tons of fun. But guys... I know it's dark out. It's dark. Um, I usually don't record when it's dark, and I know my face is a little dark on the side. We are working on the lighting issue. I'm getting new lights and all that stuff, so it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. But I hope you guys still do enjoy the content. If you do, you know the deal. Smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. But this is who I thought he was going to lead. This is exactly who I thought he was going to lead. Exactly who I thought he was going to lead. And we do have Mold Breaker, so we're going to hit through his Levitate. So we're going to go with a high horsepower to the left side and a T-Bolt over on that. What's it called? That Pelipper, but it's probably Focus Sash. That's what I think. It's probably Focus Sash. We're going to go straight into a high horsepower over on this. Rotom, because we have Mold Breaker. His Levitate is gone, dude. It, it doesn't care about abilities. He's like, nah, you got an ability. You got Levitate. Uh-uh, yo, we got Mold Breaker. We coming in hot. Going to take you out. But yeah, this is who I really did think. This is why I didn't bring the Gyarados, because he was going to go into the... What's it called? We should be able to eat this up, though, right? Eat it up, buddy. Eat it. Are you kidding me? We don't eat that up, bro. This thing goes in, this thing's not gonna go into protect protect. But dude, that's I thought we were gonna be able to uh outspeed. Dude, but T-Bolt does come out. This thing is probably focus sash, right? No, it's not focus sash. So we go trade for trade. That's fine by me. Trade for trade is fine by me. Who are we gonna come into now? Who are we gonna come into now? We're gonna need somebody kinda to stop the rain, but we don't really have anybody to stop the rain. So do we mm -mm, I don't want to go into that. We're gonna go into our Snorlax here. Snorlax is gonna come up huge here. I love Snorlax, especially the recycle Snorlax. We can do some work here because we we're rocking a berry. Then we can just recycle out. But we got to get this out of here. He has a Barrascuda coming in here. We're going to go same thing. We're going to go for the T-Bolt right on that Barrascuda. Right on him. Right on him. Barrascuda is going to come out here. And then we're just going to go into a Darkest Larry rolling over on that Rotom. Rolling in on that Rotom, dude. Sort of like it is awesome, dude. He is such a tank, dude, especially with Recycle. He eats our berry. We just recycle it. We just recycle it. Get more health. And he's rocking Gluttony so he gets more health with every berry. Let's see what he actually does. I think he's going to Dynamax that Barrier Scooter. That Barrier Scooter is going to outspeed, and he's probably going to go for, like, a Liquidation on my Snorlax, which I, or Max Geyser on a Snorlax. That's what I see him doing. I see him uh, Dynamaxing, but I'm going to save my Dynamax because we're going to need it to actually get rid of that Rotom. 
We're going to need to get rid of that Rotom. So I don't mind going with like a Max Geyser on that Rotom if we're Dynamax. But he is going to Dynamax that Barrascooter. I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. Barrascooter is such a good Pokemon, especially in the rain. He's rocking Swift Swim. He will outspeed us easily. No problem. No problem whatsoever. But he's probably Life Orb too, so I can potentially see him wipe out our what's it called? Our Snorlax. I think he's going to go after our Snorlax here. Let's see. Let's see what he does. The Max Geyser just come out. Going up against our Snorlax, I believe. I believe, right? Right? Yeah, on our Snorlax. We eat it up and our berry is going to pop out here. I, I thought we were going to go for the... What's it called? We were... I was thinking about going for that Recycle. That's what I was thinking of going for. Because that Recycle would have been huge. But now, can we... If we take out this Barra Scooter, we're chilling. We're chilling. We should be able to eat this up from... You know, we'll eat this up too. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, eating up those shots. Tebow comes out. We gotta do some work on him. Come on, Darkest Larry, take him out. Come on. I know it doesn't do too much damage, but potentially we could do some work. Come on, baby. No, wait, what do you mean? I thought I used it on the Bear Scooter. Dang, dude, I really did think I or thought I used it on the Bear Scooter. So we're gonna go here, and then we're just gonna go straight for a. They miss. If they miss, we'll go for a recycle. Um. Yeah. If they miss, we'll go for a recycle, but one Pokemon's gonna hit us, and the other one's gonna come after us. Max Gash is gonna pop back out on our Snorlax again, right? What's he gonna do? Snorlax, yes. Take out our Snorlax. That's fine, dude. We'll say bye bye to your Barrascooter, and then we're just gonna go straight for a Dynamax. We're gonna go for a Dynamax after we take out this Barrascooter here. Say night night to him. The Hydro Pump's gonna come out on our Rotom. It's gonna come out on our Rotom. I think we are still sitting in a nice little spot here. I think we're sitting pretty. I think we're sitting pretty. Considering Barrascooter's out of the way. So we got Barrascooter out the way, Pelper out the way. It is 2v2 situation, and we have our Dynamax. Depending on what his third Pokemon is, we have our, uh, our Gyarados. I'm not going to Dynamax my Gyarados. I'm not going to Dynamax the Gyarados. We're going to Dynamax that Rotom because we have to get... Oh, dude, or we can get a Power Whip out of Max Overgrowth. Well, we could do that and soak up a shot. Let's see. What the plan? What is the plan? I think we go for the Max Overgrowth here. Get some health back. Intimidate's going to drop off that Dragapult's health. And I think we just go straight for a Power Whip with the Dynamax. I think that's the play call. I think that is the play call. I think we do go for a... Do we go for a Nasty Plot? I think he's going to come after us. So we're going to go for a Nasty Plot here. Set up a Nasty Plot on my Rotom. And then we're just going to come in with a Max Overgrowth onto this... Uh, what's it called? Onto this Rotom. But I think the Rotom is just going to go for a T-Bolt on us. Which we should be able to eat up. We should be able to eat it up. That's the thing. It's going to be a close match. It's going to be a close match. But if I can get off this Nasty Plot... We could be chilling. We could potentially be chilling here and getting this victory. Let's go, guys. Let's get it. Let's get it. Can we get the win? Can we Can we get the win? Yeah. Well, the reason I am recording so late is because I recorded during the day. And then when I went to go edit my thing out, the audio levels were off. They were so off. They were so off. So this is second recording. <laughs> Got to get that content out for you guys. Let's go. What are we going to roll out here? Do we outspeed? I don't think the hy oh, Hydro Pump is going after. Wow. Went for the Hydro Pump. Is he not rocking an electric move? Phantom Force is going to pop off here. That is perfectly fine by me. We went with the Nasty Plot, which is awesome, which is awesome. And we're going to be able to take out this Rotom here. We should be able to, right? With the Max Overgrowth? Come on. Take him out. Take him out. Say night-night to him. Bill, take him out. Let's go, dude. Max Overgrowth takes him out. And, dude, we're sitting in a nice spot here. We're sitting in a nice spot. With the rain going, we're both water Pokemon. Have the Nasty Plot set up, so our special attack is up. Okay, okay. He's, who's he going to hit is the real question. He's probably going to go after my Rotom. So we're just going to go for a Max Geyser on him. We got the rain. Water damage is going to be through the roof here. Let's do some work. Special attack is up. Do we go for the Protect? Do I predict he's going after my... What's it called? Hmm. We could Protect. I said we Protect. I think he's going after my Rotom. And we're going to just go into a Max Geyser on him. He's going to go first. I think he's going after my Rotom. Right? Did I, did I make the right play call? Did I make the right play call with the Protect? Show it to me. That would be beautiful. Let's go. Come on. Show it to me. Oh, no. It hits through Protects. Dang, dude. I didn't make the, I didn't, I didn't make the right play call. It, bre it breaks through. Man. Man. It's okay. It's okay. We could have got an extra hit on him. How much damage is this going to do? This is going to do some work on him. Beautiful work right there. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. But the Max Overgrowth is going to heal up some of the Pokemon here. We're all chilling. We're all chilling. We're just going to go into a... What are we going to? Let's go into a Hydro Pump. Considering it's still raining, we'll be able to actually finish off this match right here. That is awesome. GG, dude. That is how we get it started. That is how we get it started, guys. This team is awesome. Surprised you didn't cancel out the battle. We will eat that up. No problem. No problem whatsoever. 
Oh, dude, does it hit both of us twice? Oh, no, it just goes one and one. Okay, okay. Because usually in singles battles, it goes two at the same person, but it goes one and one here. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. But that is going to be the game. We're going to be finishing off this match with a Max Geyser and catching that W. That is how it's done, guys. That is how it's done. Let's get it. Let's get it. I really do like this team. This team is actually awesome, dude. I love using that Snorlax, dude. If you get the Snorlax in certain situations with the Recycle, oh, he's so good. But let's hop into battle number two. Battle number two coming at you guys. This guy is rocking a Mincino, a Gudra, Chandelure, Berserker, Dragapult, and probably that Storm Drain. Gastrodon is probably rocking Storm Drain as its ability. So with all this going on, we got to bring in our, what's it called? Our Tokus is definitely coming in. Tokus is so strong. Like, he's just a beast. He'll be super effective to that Steel Berserker and to that Gudra and that, what's it called? Dragapult. So we can do some work there. So he's going to come in here. I see him lean that, probably that Mincino. Who are we gonna bring in here? We're gonna go Togekiss lead in the front spot, and no, we're not. I don't think we're gonna. We're gonna go Togekiss Gyarados here, because Gyarados can do some work on that Gastrodon. Our Rotom's gonna have to sit the bench, because Thunder doesn't really do work on anything here. So we're gonna go Togekiss Gyarados here, and then rock in the back spot. We're gonna bring Snorlax in the back and Extra Drill. Snorlax Extra Drill? I think that sounds like a plan. I think that sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Let's go with it. Bang. Bang. Ch -ch bang. Ch -ch and bang, Snorlax with the I pop a berry with the recycle can do absolute work, dude. I love it so much. I love it so much, dude. Especially if there's like a Pokemon that cannot deal a lot of damage to you. You just eat that berry at half health. It brings you almost all the way up and then you just recycle. Or what I like to do is read their attacks. Like if I know they're coming for us and they're going to trigger our berry, I just recycle beforehand, dude. It's so easy. It's just nice, dude. It's awesome. Let's go rocking into this battle. Who's going to lead? The Berserker and the Gudra, dude. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I'm actually going to Dynamax. He's going to come for a steel move on my uh, weakness policy right there. He's going to come for that steel move on my Togekiss. Set off my weakness policy. So we're Dynamaxing going straight for that Gudra. We're going straight for the Gudra right off the bat. Let's go. Bang. Bang. Max Starfall coming out here on the Gudra. Hopefully he uh, goes for that. And then do we D-Dance? Does he have much to do with us? I say we D-Dance here. Yeah, let's go for a D-Dance with our Gyarados. I think that is the right play call. D-Dance with the Gyarados. What's he going to do? Is he going to Dynamax? We are Dynamax, and hopefully he doesn't Dynamax. Because we can do some work. We can do some work, baby. Let's see how he plays this out. I, I'm thinking he's going to go with the Iron Move onto my uh, Togekiss. And hopefully that Berserker outspeeds. And we can actually take him out. <laughs> we can set off that weakness policy and just start working. Because we have Flame or Max Flare, which can take out that Berserker, no problem. Fake Out's going to come out here. Oh, man. Please tell me, tell me. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, we can't flinch. I was like, we can't flinch. Get out of here, Gudra. See you later, dude. Oh, does that kill him? Wow. I thought that was going to kill, but we get a D-Dance off, which is awesome. Which is awesome. So once we get this D-Dance off, we're just going to, what's it called? We're just going to take out the Gudra with our Gyarados. Oh, what is that? Is he weakness policy? Wow, dude, weakness policy is popping off here. That's fine. That's fine. Rockside's going to pop off here. Oh, we avoided the attack. That would have been fine. That would have set up our weakness policy. Oh, no, who? No, Gyarados dodged it, which is beautiful, and sets off our weakness policy. Okay, so, because it hits both Pokemon. Yeah, dude, what do you want? What do you want? This is nice for us. We are looking great here. We'll have our Gyarados actually take out the, what's it called? The Gudra? Because now we're plus one speed, plus one attack, and we'll have my Togekiss go after that Berserker, which is beautiful. Max Flare going out against that Berserker, and then we're just going to go right into a Waterfall here. Now, um, what about a... Hmm, these, both these moves aren't too good with them. I still think we, we can take them out. What does more damage? That's the real question. We make a flinch. I say we go straight for this power whip. Let's go. Hopefully, you can take him out with this dragon dance. It should be able to take him out. Power whip comes out here. Oh, it's a sap sipper. No, no, dude. It's a sap sipper. I think it's going to do absolute work. It's going to do absolute work. Wow. I think it is a sap sipper. Raises his attack, but it's fine. This berserker will be gone. See you later, berserker. Done. And now we'll just go for a waterfall and we'll say bye bye to that Gudra. I can't believe that thing was a sap sipper. Are you kidding me? Jesus. When you hit him with grass moves, then he'll boost his attack. That is an awesome ability right there, buddy. I think it has to do with certain moves. I, it might be all grass moves. I'm not too positive, but that is crazy. He's running that. That's dope, though. That is dope, though. Let's see who he goes out into. He has two more Pokemon. And we're looking good here. He's going into that Cincino here. Which we might just go Max Flare on it and then just go into a Waterfall against it. Uh, is Max Starfall super effective? No, it's not. Let's just go straight for a Max Flare. Considering we have the Drought, we will be able to do more work on him. And we're going to outspeed with our, what's it called? Our Garrators, considering we are D-Dance 1 with speed and attack. But I can see him 
Dynamax and no, I don't see him Dynamax. I see him wait until his last Pokemon. But Cino does rock out with that Rock Blast, and that can take us out. It is, oh, we, no, it's not anymore. We got our Berry, baby. We got our Berry. That thing's pretty fast. That's Encino. But the Berry is going to help us out here. He's going to hit. If it is skill linked, it can take us out if it hits for five. Which I don't really see it being skill linked. That's the thing. That's four. This is five. We should be able to. Okay, wow. It hit for five. Okay. This thing might be. Have that ability on him. But do we rock out? Is it our turn? Yeah, Waterfall's going to pop out here. Can we take him out here? Take him out. Show it to me. Yes, dude. There we go. Takes him out there. That's awesome. Oh, we get the crit. I don't even know. We might have needed the crit to take him out. So I'll take it. The Gujar is an absolute unit. And we're going to come in here with a max player with a drought rolling. And do some absolute work on this since, you know. Yay. Take him out. Oh, it's Focus Sash. It is Focus Sash. That's fine by me. That is fine by me, dude. This is about the game. This is about the game. Unless it depends who he's rocking. He's going to Dynamax that next Pokemon. But we still have our Snorlax in the back. It's a Gashadon. It's a Gashadon. As long as we... Do we have Follow Me? If we have Follow Me, dude, this could be good. Because we might follow me over with our Togekiss, right? Yeah, let's go follow me on the Togekiss. And then we're going to go straight into the Power Whip with the Gat on the Gashadon. So if we get the Cincino to not hit our, what's it called? Our Gyarados, we're going to take out this Gashadon in one hit. Come on, dude. Show me this play. This will be clean, dude. This could be clean. But I don't know if you have to outspeed or if it has first move priority. Let's see. Let's see. Because he's going to Dynamax the Gashadon. Or he's just going to cancel the battle. Let's see it, dude. We're looking good right now. We're looking good. Follow me comes out. He doesn't even Dynamax. That's going to be the game. That is going to be the game. You're not hitting my Gyarados. Rock Blast goes over. And we avoid the attack. Wow. The Power Whip comes out here. Says, see you later, Gashadon. Woo! Woo! That is the game, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to end off the battle after this. We absolutely just crushed that battle. That was... We played that. We just outplayed him. 100% outplayed him. Heat Wave's going to come in. With the drought and um and the waterfall is gonna come in here. Bye bye. Bye bye. I see, I see you cancel. He doesn't cancel. He's just gonna be like, I'm gonna take out your Gyarados. <laughs> That's what he said. He's like, yo, dude, your Gyarados is done. I'm gonna go out taking out your Gyarados so I don't get sweeped. <laughs> Almost a sweep, dude. But we played that perfectly, guys. Absolutely so good. You just shredded this guy down. Didn't even have to switch out Pokemon. I love it. I love it, dude. That's how it's done. Let's hop into the third and final battle now. Hopping into the third and final battle for this video, this guy's rocking a Conkledor, Gyarados, Excadrill, Toxtricity, Darmanitan, and a Mimikyu. We're definitely going to be bringing in our, what's it called, our Mold Breaker Excadrill. He can do some work on that Toxtricity and on that Mimikyu, so he is definitely going to be rocking out here. And then, who else are we going to rock out? Who else are we going to rock out? I'm kind of scared of that Gyarados. We're definitely bringing in our Togekiss. Togekiss is coming in hot. You can do some work on that Conkledor, so I'm like an N on that Tarmanthan. So Togekiss might actually lead the front spot. We're going to go Togekiss in on the front spot. With We're going to bring in that Snorlax in the back. I like having that Snorlax in the back. So we're going to have Togekiss, Snorlax, Extra Drill, and then in the final spot. Let's go. He's a very physical attacking team. We're going to go with our Dragapult. I think we're going to go with the Dragapult in the front spot with our Togekiss. Then we're going to be rocking out with our, what's it called, in the back end. Our Snorlax and our Extra Drill in the back end, which is perfect, which is perfect, guys. Awesome, dude. This team is so much fun, dude. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, guys. But, yo, friendly reminder, if you are enjoying the content, make sure you show it. Seriously, it means a lot. Thank you, guys, everybody who has smashed that like button, everybody who has subscribed, everybody who just comes out here and watches the video. It means a lot. But let's go. Rolling out here. This chick's wearing an Arcanine shirt. I like it. I Extra Drill and Toxtricity do come out here, which I can just Heat Wave down. I can go with a Heat Wave, but we might go for an Electric Shot. Electric shot. We might go for an ally switch here. I think that's what's gonna happen. I think we're gonna go for it possibly an ally switch and then into a heat wave. Or do we take it? We could possibly take this thing. Take the hit from the electric move. How's our special defense? I know this thing is a special move. We're gonna go check our special defense before we even move on with anything. We're gonna go check our special defense from our token kiss here. How's his special defense? His special defense is better than its physical. Or it's uh yeah, better than its physical defense, so. Do I, do I go for it? That could be huge play. It could be huge play. It could be play of the year. I said we go for it. I said we go for the Dynamax, eat it up, and we take out this extra drill right here. And then we roll right into a uh, Reflect. Do we go into a Reflect or an Ally Swap? Let's go into a Reflect here. We're going to set up a Reflect for our team and go into the Dynamax, hopefully eating up the what's it called. It's it's, I think it's going to go Rock Slide and a what's it called. And a T-Bolt, right? That's what I think is going to happen. I can see him possibly Dynamaxing his uh, Toxtricity here. Trying to take out my Togekiss. This can be so huge. If we pull this off, it's game. If we don't, we lose. Like, it, it's just, that is just how it is. 
we can set up our weakness policy, that would be awesome. What's gonna go on? We're gonna go first, actually. Oh no, uh, our dragon bolt's gonna go first. I was gonna say, our token is outspeeding these guys. That's pretty nuts, but there we go. That's gonna come in here. Oh, and he does still outspeed. And a max player just come pop out here. Can we take this thing out? Take it out. Oh, it's Focus Sash, dude. It's Focus Sash, but still, we have Reflect popping off here, which is beautiful, which is beautiful. This Toxtricity is definitely going to go for this uh, Lightning on us, but this Drought does come out. Drought is going to be huge for us, considering we are rocking some moves. Iron Head's going to come out here. Weakness Policy is going to pop off. It's going to pop off here. I would love for us to survive this hit from this uh, Toxtricity, which I think we, we have a shot at here. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Overdrive going to come out here. Eat it up, buddy. Eat it up. Let's go. Just what I wanted. That guy is in a tough situation here and he's gonna pop off what's he popping off here what is that what is his special attack dude i think he's gonna die anyway uh do we go into a max fire here yeah we're gonna go into right into a max fire here and do we go into a draco meteor here yeah we gotta take out this extra drill here we gotta take out this extra drill and then we'll swap out our dragon pole i'll say bye bye to our dragon pole but we gotta get this extra drill out the way here right now because if not it's gonna just do some work but our special attack is gonna drop it once we swap out dude it'll cancel out but we're chilling we're chilling here I'm liking where we're sitting. I really like the way we're sitting here. We're going to probably take out the toxicity here and be chilling fine. We'll be chilling fine. We have the reflect set up. So we are looking good. Very, very good right now. Bill, do some work on him. See you later. See you later, dude. Let's go, dude. What a start. What a start. Like I said, it, we can pop off that weakness policy and do some absolute work. I thought he was going to Dynamax and potentially go for a Max Lightning. But you do not do nothing. You didn't think you didn't see us coming in with that Dynamax, yo. We planning. We plan ahead. That Dark Manitan is gonna come in here. We're gonna rock out with a Max Flare with the drought. And probably one shot that thing. And we're gonna hard swap out into our We hard swap into our we're definitely going for that Max Flare on the what's it called? That Dark Manitan. We have to get that Dark Manitan out of the way. And then we're gonna hard swap out into our Do we go extra or do we go we go Berry Boy? Let's go Berry Boy right here. Soak up some hits and all that. Let's go. Let's hard swap our Dragon Pole out. We can save him for later. We're just trying to get that special defense off the, like, out the way. Because he will outspeed easily. But these guys are physical attacking. And we have our Reflect set up. So what a start by us. He's going to Dynamax our Darmanitan, I believe. And hopefully... He's probably, is he rocking the weakness policy? I can see him rock. Yeah, Darmanitan usually rocked the weakness policy. So I think we're fine. I think we're fine. He didn't Dynamax. Wow. Bold move by him. Not even Dynamaxing. There, oh, there it is. Okay, we swap first. The swap goes out first, and then the Dynamax happens. That, usually, the Dynamax happens before anything, but that's fine. Who's he going? Darmanitan, right? He should be going Darmanitan. He goes with the Conqueror. Wow. Wow, the Conqueror is going to come in here, and we should still get that outspeed. Our token kiss should outspeed. Probably not that Darmanitan. That Darmanitan might be able to get a shot off before our, what's it called? Our token Max Guard does pop out. That's... We're not even going for you. We're not even going for you. You just wasted a turn, buddy. You just wasted a turn. See you later, Darmanitan. Bye-bye, dude. That is the game, dude. Rocked out with this team, dude. Just quick battles, dude. It's just easy wins, dude. It's just easy wins. We're just rolling out with this team. So strong, dude. The Token Kiss is an absolute unit. And now we got our Snorlax just chilling here. Our Snorlax is just chilling, playing the game. He's going to try to probably uh, keep going here. He's probably going to try to keep going. We're just going to show off a little bit of Snorlax action. Go into the Facade, which is fine. Which is fine. Facade, Facade. The battle was canceled. The battle was canceled, dude. That's how we roll out. GG. That is the game. Here's one last look at this awesome team. Guys, I love the Pokemon on this team. Like, seriously, that Togekiss was an absolute beast. We also had that Dragapult with that Reflect and Ally Switch moveset. It was awesome. We got that Excadrill, who I love, dude. Excadrill is such a good Pokemon, especially in this team right here. He has an Assault Fest. He can soak up some special attacks and then do some damage. We got that D-Dance. Gyarados right here, which we showed off a little bit. Did some work. Same thing with that Rotom with that Thunderbolt. And we can set up next supply. Has his protecting all that stuff. And we have that Gluttony Snorlax right here with the Eye Papa Berry, which I love, dude. He is an absolute beast. You can set up that Recycle and all that stuff and just keep regenerating health and soaking up hits. But guys, if you would like to use this team for yourself, make sure you use that rental code at the bottom of the screen. It is definitely a great team. It is worth trying out. And also, let me know for question of the day, who is your favorite starter Pokemon? But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, make sure you show it by smashing that like button for me and clicking that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.